Hey guys, me host Super Bizarre. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I've been wanting this figure for so long. So <clears throat> this is from the new W Superstars line. These are Walmart exclusives, but I managed to get my hands on this one thanks to the lovely ladies over at the uh, can't speak the mer the merch queens. Ah, uh, stuttered. The lovely ladies over at the merch queens. Uh, I managed to grab this from one of their Walmart shopping videos. And I'm really happy because it's Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You don't see Hollywood Hulk Hogan very often at all. So I'm really excited to uh, start my NWO Wolf Pack off right with Hollywood Hogan. Also in this collection, you can get the Honky Tonk Man, Ric Flair, and Bray Wyatt randomly, which is very cool. I like the Bray Wyatt. So these are sort of action figures that are in that traditional sort of like stand up pose, a bit like the He-Mans and stuff. Although it doesn't look like you can move him out of that pose. Hopefully we can stretch him out a little bit and he'll be a bit taller. But we'll see. They'll look, he looks a cool figure and you know what? He's got his glasses, he's got his hat and everything, his bandana. So this looks to be a cool figure and it looks like the actual NWO jacket comes off. So very cool. And not overly expensive, it was only $20. So I was very happy with that. And this is from Series 1. I do have a very nice card back to It arrived really minty, to be honest. They packed it so well. And it's in, it's even unpunched. It's an unpunched version. And you guys are going to hate me because I'm opening this bad boy. <laughs> I know. Kill me if you want. Oh, he's got more accessories on his back. Wow. Okay, cool. He's got even more accessories back here. He does come with his belt. He comes with the NWO belt. So this is this is the era of WCW. I was a big fan of WCW back in the day. Um, when I was a kid growing up in the nineties, um, I used to what I was very lucky. We had we had Sky or the I can't remember what, if it was called Sky originally, but basically we had the like first ever Sky box when it ever came out. So that was like the UK's equivalent of like cable. And I was very lucky that I got to watch wrestling. Um, on that, on that, um, because my parents were never into sport growing up, so we never had Sky Sports. So I very rarely got to watch WWE. But luckily, on a Saturday, uh, it was Sky Sky One. It was called Sky One. Used to play like um, SmackDown, and then like a highlight show that showed off what happened on Raw that week. So that's how I caught up with WWE was via this weekly show. But I was able to watch every episode of WCW live from America uh, via the TNT network. And basically, Cartoon Network, after a certain time of night, I think it was like 9pm, they would show the final cartoon of the night, which was usually Tom and Jerry. And basically, Friday night was my favourite night of the week, because me and my dad would go to the Chinese, we'd get, we'd get a takeaway, we'd come home, and my dad would sit with me and watch the final cartoon of the night. He'd sit and watch uh, Tom and Jerry. And then after Tom and Jerry had finished, it would switch over to TNT. And then from there, it would then lead into WCW. And I could basically sit there when I was a kid during the summer. I would basically sit there all night watching live. I'm sure it was live at the time, like feeds from America to watch WCW. So I grew up with WCW more often than not than WWE. I knew of WWE, like say I watched the weekly shows and stuff. So I knew what was going on. But I felt more invested in WWE because of the fact that I could watch it more regularly. So yeah, that is my story with my uh, where where I am with my wrestling. Um, like I say, most people just assume everyone is big WWE fans, and it wasn't until later on in life that I was able to actually sit down and watch WWE properly because I've never had Sky Sports as a kid. Even to this day, I do not have Sky Sports. So, I mean, I, I still don't get to, to watch it properly. But, uh, yeah, I do I do like, I did like WCW. I grew up in the era of WCW. I was a big fan of Sting and Goldberg and the Wolfpack. And, yeah, that was my era. And seeing all the WWE guys come over to WCW was awesome. Anyway, I digress. Here is the Hollywood Hulk Hogan action figure out of the packaging. He looks awesome. I've already stretched out his legs and arms, so he's not in that hunched up pose. 
but it still looks pretty cool. I like, I like the, re you know, the retro look, and they have given Hulk Hogan a very orange tanned look, which is kind of kind of in keeping, to be honest with his, <laughs> with his actual skin tone. He's he was always a very tanned man. <laughs> And yeah, I believe the hat and stuff comes off, but we'll save that for... I think it does anyway. Oh yeah, it does. We'll save that for the desk cam. So let's jump down straight to the desk cam so you guys can get an up-close personal look at Hollywood Hulk Hogan. All right, guys, there is Hollywood Hulk Hogan out of the packaging looking awesome. So I've, I've kind of tried to get him like he's trying to play, like he's playing air guitar with the belt because that was the thing he used to do. He used to come out with the belt and do the air guitar in the air and stuff. He does come with two alternate hands, which are two closed fists, which pop in. Uh, we'll try that in a bit, but I do like his grab hands, to be honest. Uh, I'm quite happy with, the, with his open palm hands on right now. Uh, the figure itself is very cool indeed. So let's take a close look at the figure. So first of all, he does come with the NWO sprayed World Heavyweight Championship belt from back in the day. This championship is so iconic. It was used for so many years, held by... So many people, Ric Flair, Triple H, The Rock, Stone Cold, so many people held this belt and they're sprayed with the NWO belt. It took a long time, they've put the WF logo on it in the list of WCW. Um, it took a long time for this belt to phase out and to get the new sort of belt that John Cena and that had and the spinner belt and all that kind of stuff later on in, in the timeline. This figure, though, is so cool. I do like the style of this retro figure. I am probably going to grab more of these if more characters come out that I'm interested in. Hopefully a Sting will come out in this line. The head is on a ball joint a little bit, so you can make him look up and down, but Hulk Hogan's hair and stuff kind of stops him from looking too far up, but you can make him look up and down, and he can move left and right. His arms move up at that side hinge there and also rotate. He does have a single hinged elbow, which does stretch out from there. Does sort of pop out, look. And then we can rotate his hands around as well. They do pop off to put the other ones on. Uh, we do have a waist swivel there, which is pretty easy to move around on. Legs, oop, his hat's popped off and he's bald. His, his uh, legs lift forward. He does have a little single hinge knee there hidden away by the knee by the uh, knee pad. And there is a boot cut. And the feet do move forward and backwards. There are display peg holes, should you wish to use a display base. And there is pivot in the ankles as well. So plenty of articulation for such a small little fig, to be honest. Wasn't, I wasn't expecting that much articulation out of it, but... Right now he has got a little strap on that holding the glasses in place. I am going to be removing those glasses though. Oh, his eyes are a little, little, give a little, leave a little bit to be desired, but... And you can take off the little bandana as well, which is pretty cool. Let me just roll that forward and get rid of that piece of plastic. So yeah, um, I am going to be leaving the bandana on, but I am going to be taking the glasses off. Bow, 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 bow. They're, they're really cool. I like those glasses. Uh, but yeah, he does have... At the moment, he's got his Hollywood Hulk Hogan uh, belt on the back here. And that, again, can be removed. You can just pop that off. If you want to pop the belt on him. And the best part is, as well, this NWO shirt does open up, I believe. There you go. It's just Velcro at the front, so you can take it off. So he's in his wrestling... You know, he's like he's more of a wrestling attire. So that's pretty cool. I like I like all these cloth clothing that the WWE figures are getting these days. From what I've seen from like Toy Fair and, and uh, San Diego Comic Con and stuff, it does look like we're going to be getting a bunch of new WCW era figures very soon this next year. So I'm very excited to see what figures come out because, like I say, I do have more of a more of a background with WCW than WWE. In WWE, my guy was always Triple H. Um, but WCW, I was I was a NWO and Sting man. The day that Sting joined NWO, I'll never forget. That was the day for me. I mean, Sting joined the Wolfpack, and then didn't he make? I'm sure at one point he's factioned off to make the red brand version, the red NWO red or something. There was like by the end of it, there was like different versions of NWO, weren't there? Like NWO Wolfpack, NWO Red. But yeah, that's how I'm going to be displaying Hogan on my stand there. Really awesome figure, guys. What are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video today, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!